In this video I'm going to be replacing the light switch that's underneath this cabinet with one having dimming capability. And this light switch controls the puck lights that are above the sofa. The dimmer that I'll be using looks very similar to the light switch that's already in there and it does have three-way capability. However, I'm not going to use the three-way capability in my RV because I don't have a spot for the other switch. I will, though, demonstrate how the three-way works so that if you need to use the three-way feature, then you can. And from the side, we can see the part number AH-SLD1-5-HS001. And when I look up the information, this is a 12-volt dimmer suitable for LEDs. I couldn't find anything online to say how this three-way hooks up because all we have is a little tab here. So we're going to take this apart and find out how the three-way works. And we can simply snap the cover off with little pins here on each side. And now that I've taken it apart, that little tab was actually one of the tabs on the switch, right here. And the other two tabs on the switch go to the two tabs here. So essentially the switch and the circuit board go together like that. And then you can see the tab in there. And I can also see that the other two switch pins are here and here. This one goes to the electronics, yet this one simply goes to the red wire. So how do we make a three-way out of this? With three wires coming out of here and the tab there, we can draw the switch here. And that goes into the electronics in the switch. And with the three-way, when these two switches are in the same position, whether they're both up or both down, the switch is on. When these two are in opposite positions, that means when either one is up and then either one is down, then the switch is off. So first of all, we're going to connect this just as a single switch to show you how it works, and then we'll do a three-way. And here we have our controller. And unfortunately, if you buy anything from China, the wiring code is probably going to be backwards. And what I mean by that is, in the U.S., normally, we have red and black for positive and negative. And then, in other situations, we have red and white, where red is 12 volts, white is ground. But irregardless, we always use red, generally, for positive, and then negative can take on several different colors. In fact, when we turn this over, we will see we have 12 volts to red, ground is black, and white is the light. And this is a high side dimmer, and the reason I know that is because of the HS and the part number. And you can buy these with an LS for low side. And if you go to the project page on my website, I have this graphic showing just what I discussed. We have a standard red plus black for the SAE standard. An RV alternate is sometimes red with white. And then there's also common in RVs, a multiple color where we have a solid color representing 12 volts and then a white wire with a stripe of the same color representing the negative side or a ground. This could be a blue wire or a red one or a yellow wire and the negative side will always be the white striped version of that. And this is useful for showing different circuits and then for Chinese common wiring we have 12 volt black with ground being white. So just realize you may run into some different wiring configurations in your RV. So we have the positive and the black wire going to here, which is the negative. And then we have the white wire coming out here. And it connects to the black wire because in the Made in China stuff, black is usually positive, white is usually negative. So it's just exactly the opposite. How they haven't burnt something down, I have no idea. And when we turn the switch on and off, and then the dimmer, this is full on and this is all the off. 
Now we want to make this into a three-way. As I said, when these switches are in the opposite position, which they are, but if we flip them when they're both the same direction, the light is on. If we flip this up, the light's off. And then if we flip that up, the light's on, flip that down. So you can see, we have a true three-way. And if we compare this housing to a standard JR Electronics housing, I mean, it is pretty much the same height. But width-wise, it's just slightly wider. And the device itself, once we account for the tab, isn't really that much thicker. So hopefully it'll go in the same hole. The most common electrical connector you're going to find are these. These are 0.25 inches wide or one quarter of an inch. And if we were to measure from end to end, it would indeed be a one quarter inch. However, many of the connectors in the RV industry are known as 0.187, which are basically 3 sixteenths. 3 sixteenths is 0.1875. And if you look at the difference between the two, you can definitely see that one is wider than the other. And so the correct connector to use for these lugs is a smaller one because it fits on here. And if we were to fit the larger one, which a lot of RV manufacturing companies do, you can see that it can really not be on as good. It wobbles quite a bit more. And I've had these actually fall off from RVs because the RV manufacturer is too cheap to buy the proper 187. So they buy the more common and less expensive 0.25 and they just are not as good as the 0.187. And you can see here they've used one quarter inch connectors and see how the thing wobbles? I mean that's not very good. And we're going to have to unfortunately cut the hole just a little bit larger. You know my view this is an essential tool if you're going to do any cutting in an RV because you can make some really nice cuts with it. I would get one of these. And after we have sufficiently enlarged the hole, now it's time to connect to the existing wiring. You're going to want to use a meter to find out which one of these comes from the battery and which one goes to the switch. And here I have both of the wires to the switch done. So now we have to connect the ground wire to these two wires. So we have actually three wires to connect. And whenever I splice three wires together, I like to use these little connectors. And that's what I did on the ground. And now it's just a matter of finishing it up. And we've put the screws in. And then all we have to do is snap the bezel on. And there we go. So let's do a test. So we'll turn the lights on. And now we'll limb them. There we go. Isn't that nice?